Hey guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today we're back with another house building video. This one is a collaboration with Devin Bumpkin who is another YouTuber. Um, he does really amazing builds and stuff and you guys should definitely go and check his video out. So we decided to kind of do the 50, 50 challenge, not 50 by 50, but like the 50-50 where you do half of a lot and then the other person does the other half of the lot so as you can see half of this lot has already been built on the left side of the screen right now you can see his um build and we decided to do london townhouses well they weren't specifically london townhouses but um he lives either in london or near london i think and um <clears throat> and I happen to go to London a few every now and then so we've both seen our fair share of London townhouses and um, it was just something that we thought would be really fun to do and he actually came up with the idea and I was really down for it so um, you can see mine coming together really quickly here and um, I was just in awe of his build when he sent me the file it looked so amazing that I thought alright I've definitely got to step my game up and do something really amazing here otherwise mine's gonna look like poo compared to his so um, he did an amazing job. His video has actually been up for a good couple of weeks now, maybe even uh, two months. I'm not sure how long it's been up for, but it's been up for a while. So um, I think he was like done and ready to go when he was like um, told me about the idea. So um, he sent me his file and I've been building mine and it is done. And um, he's actually let me do, uh, let me borrow rather his video tour for these, for these two townhouses as well. So we had to wait for that as well. So that's why this has kind of taken a little bit time to come out but I'm glad that I really took the time with this one because I love the end result and I think if I would have rushed it to get it done it wouldn't have been as good so um thank you to him for letting me borrow that sort of video tour because he does video tours over on his channel which I'll have all the links and everything to his channel in the description down below so you can go and check out his um, part of this build and you can check out his video tour or you can just wait until the end of this one and see the video tour at the end of mine so um yeah he let me borrow that so I put it at the end of my video and I was like I need to learn how to do this because I think it looks so much better than screenshots but I don't know how to do it so I've got to learn so hopefully that's something that I can bring to my channel as well so thank you for sharing with me Devon um, his actual name is Aiden his channel is just called Devon Bumpkin and um, if you want to learn more about him the Sims VIP I'm pretty sure it was did a community spotlight on him so you can definitely go and check that out it's really cool and they say some really nice things about him which are all true because he's a lovely guy so um, yeah we had a really good time building this and um, it was super fun so as you can see mine has pretty much taken its final shape I don't think I changed anything too much um, from here on out and um, I wasn't sure at first if I was going to completely contrast the style of his build or whether I was going to like keep him the style because like I've seen a lot of YouTubers do the 50-50 build uh, challenge before <clears throat> excuse me and some of them do like the exact opposite of what the other person has done or some of them keep within the theme so I wasn't I wasn't a hundred on what I wanted to do with it and um, it definitely changes a few times that I kind of went for to match his style so <clears throat> I kept in with like he had bricks in his and I kept bricks in mine but they were a different colour and I kind of went for a traditional on the outside with lots of pillars and stuff and friezes and then we went for very like modern on the inside well not very modern but quite modern on the inside and he also had a basement in his so I decided to put a basement in mine because obviously townhouses usually are built right next to each other and they've probably got the same sort of layout unless someone has changed them or whatever like when they purchased it so the layouts in our houses are completely different, but I decided to keep, keep the... I think he has three levels, one, yeah, and then I have three levels, and we both have a basement as well, so I tried to keep within, like, keep like that kind of thing. Um, here I am struggling because I was trying to fit in a two-wide staircase, and it wasn't going to work with what I wanted it to look like, so we go for a one-wide staircase. I don't know what it is, but I always want to have a two-wide staircase, but... I wanted to like have an entrance to the basement which I wasn't 100% sure about and here I'm going in and laying out this big basement area which changes a lot because I actually cut a lot of this out because <laughs> I actually redid this house pretty much from the top. I did all the furnishing and it was taking me so long because I couldn't find any inspiration to do it and I wanted it to look really good because his was so amazing like I said and um, when I'd finally done it I had like 
nine hours of footage and it was going to be like an hour and a half video so as you can see from the length of this video it's not an hour and a half luckily because i wouldn't want to put all of you people through that and plus i wouldn't want to commentate for an hour and a half and it's just not fun when it surpasses that kind of time so i actually went in and deleted all the furniture that i put in but because i already knew what i wanted to go with because i'd already done it when i recorded it again i knew exactly what i was doing so in some clips you might kind of see that <laughs> there's already like paint on the walls or whatever and that's because I've gone in already and deleted all the furniture and now then I'm refurnishing it to make the video clips much shorter because I didn't want to speed it up ridiculous amounts because then you just can't see what's going on. Like here right now it's pretty fast and this is all original footage but I was just going in and making the big sort of, um, I'm not sure what you call it, um, like mezzanine balconies, as you can see like the staircase goes up and it's got like a big open area where you can see down and that spans all three floors so it goes all the way up to the top floor and here you can see me adding the top floor actually because I wasn't going to have one at first but like I said I wanted to mirror his and um, out the back there we put like a jacuzzi and everything off of the master suite which is really nice the top floor is basically just de um, dedicated to the master master bedroom and bathroom and stuff and my favourite parts on these on this build are the master bedroom, closet and bathroom and the back garden. It just turned out so well and I was so happy with it, which you'll will, again we'll see a bit later on. Um here I was just trying to figure out what kind of roofing I wanted to do and it was just going hideous at first. So we delete everything that we do here and <laughs> do it over because it just didn't look good at all. And I kind of mirrored what um Aiden did with his build, which was have like a roof but then have a half wall around the top as well. Um <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me so I wasn't like a hundred percent on what I was doing as I was going so I was kind of making it up as I go along which I do with most of my builds and then I was going in and just adding more columns on all of the corners and edges and stuff just to accent everything really nicely and I was throwing in a couple of balconies and stuff just to break it up and I used that kind of like iron fencing from get together because I thought that was quite um like urban and you see that a lot in London like even if they're on like fake balconies, like you can't actually get to them, they have some sort of like decorative balcony like that. So I kind of wanted to add that, but I do add um, doors to these ones because they were big enough to go out on, but I didn't add anything on them because they weren't really, because it was at like, the front of the house, I didn't want chairs or anything on them because I don't really think you'd sort of sit at the front of the house and look out, so. As you can see, I've got a roof on that back bit at the moment, but I will delete that later on. And um, put like I said a hot tub out there with some nice plants and everything and it's like a really nice area to like look out of it's definitely these are definitely luxury townhouses these would definitely be millions of pounds in London in real life but they are I don't know how expensive this lot is actually in the sims I think it was at least half a million simoleons possibly it was quite pricey if I remember but um I might as well say now that if you want to download it then you can they are on the gallery it's called uh, Mayfair townhouses um or, yeah, Mayfair Townhouses, yeah. Mayfair Place? I can't remember what we named it now, but it will be in the video title and the link to my gallery page and Aiden's gallery page or Devin's gallery page will be in the description down below. And you can use the hashtags EndlessSims and Devin Bumpkin as usual. So, yeah, you can get it that way if you'd like to. So, yeah, they're on the gallery. You can see how much they are now. I think um, it's probably, it's quite a cool lot to play on, I should imagine, if you like to do storylines. So if you have like four or four or five sims, you can do two houses because obviously you can lock the doors with the update that came just after Get to Work. So you could lock it like the front door to this house from three of the sims and then you could lock the other front door from, I don't know, another two sims that lived in this one. And then they wouldn't go into each other's houses without your permission kind of thing. And you could kind of play like a cool storyline like that. I think that would be quite fun to do with a build like this. Um, there are a lot of items on this lot though. So if you've got a not such great computer, then this will probably be a little bit laggy on yours. But I think it'll be fine still because it's still early days within The Sims 4. So we don't have loads of items. But they are two big houses is what I mean. So yeah. And if you want one or the other build, then you can probably do that by trying to place it on a smaller lot and trying to like demolish the other one but I wouldn't recommend that because they're both amazing builds so <laughs> Devon's is definitely awesome as you can see from the few glances you're getting here and you'll see at the walkthrough at the end it's really cool he kind of did like a traditional build at the front and then like a conver modern conversion extension at the back of, of his build which was just such an awesome idea I never would have thought to do something like that so his imagination is awesome when it comes to building, so he did really amazing, and I was trying to live up to that, and I hope I did a good enough job 
to match in with his because this was a lot of fun to do so I'm um, going through here and just adding like the roof color and stuff and I went for like some very traditional roof tiles kind of made it look a little bit old as well because like the building had been here for a long time and people had come along and bought it and changed it up a lot as you can see from like the modern glass doors that are on the build and some modern glass windows at the front here and I kind of did like a little um entrance porch way at the front kind of surrounded by glass windows but it's, you actually still have to go in the front door but I thought it was quite nice because in England it rains a lot so as London townhouses I thought that would be a good idea <laughs> and I added in a massive chandelier to drop down all three levels of the um, of the house there which you can't see unless you're on the top floor I don't know why that is I wish they would fix that so that you could see it but I suppose because it's sized up I don't really know but I wish they would um I don't know whether it needs fixing because it might not technically be broken but I wish they would adjust it so that um so that you could see the chandelier like from all floors um, and he gets a really nice like panoramic shot of that in the video tour at the end and I know I keep mentioning the video tour but it's something that I haven't got on my channel so for him to allow me to borrow that to add to this video was really cool of him and it just looks so awesome that I'm really looking forward to you guys seeing it so here we are, we're moving on to the backyard here. As you can see, I did some porch area earlier, which I wasn't happy with, so I'm adjusting it slightly now, and I am in love with this back garden. It just looks so cool. And I didn't have a lot of space to work with, so I was kind of worried it wouldn't look good. But, I don't know, I just kind of, inspiration kind of struck me, and I just started building, and it turned out pretty cool. So, as you can see, I was kind of going for this, like, raised pool area on the decking at first, and then I kind of come back to it a few times, and... I'm not sure what I want to do with it, and I changed the pool shape, and this is kind of what we go for in the end, but it changes quite drastically at the same time, so we actually go down another floor into like the basement area, but we remove the, remove the ceiling off of the top, um, I kind of went a bit lispy there, <laughs> and we remove the ceiling off the top of it so that it just looks like it's gone quite far down into the ground, and we make like this awesome kind of courtyard area. I guess you could call it a courtyard, I'm not really sure, but I don't really know how to describe it, but you guys will see it. I was just so happy with how it turned out. And um, we're going to go in and do it in like one second, I think. I think I've, or I will be cutting the clip in a second where I come back on another day and I've got way more inspiration. And I'm like, bam, awesome backyard done. <laughs> so I think this is it now. Oh, and I just added in a mailbox because Aiden messaged me on Twitter and was like, oh, I forgot a mailbox, it's really annoying, please add one in for me, so I did. <laughs> and here we are, come back another day, and as you can see, I'm adding in a basement here and then removing the roof so that you can see, or the ceiling rather, so that you can see all from all the way down below. And I added a <clears throat> a fountain in next to the pool, so it's kind of got like this infinity look to it. And I add those big fountains from Spa Day there, as you can see, and they kind of look like they're built into the wall. And it just looks really awesome in live mode, when uh, or live mode, however you want to say it, when they are flowing. And I added in a lot of like steam thingies from Get Together at the bottom there, so that it looks like it's sort of like the water is making steam. So yeah, it's a really cool effect in live mode. And then I just add in a bunch of landscaping around here, doing some more modern kind of bushes over here, and then letting all this kind of shrubbery and stuff crawl up the side here, very overgrown, but like man-made at the same time. So yeah. And then I extend this black panelling down to make it to make it match the fence above it, which is like that black um, fencing from outdoor, no, Perfect Patio, I was going to say outdoor living stuff, but that's The Sims 3 from Perfect Patio, so, and it matched the one that Aiden used on his build as well, so, I'm going in and just adding a bunch of flowers, and then I add a really nice little seating area down here with the Perfect Patio chairs and stuff. Oh, and first I do a bunch of this, and I'm not sure if this is here in the final build, because I think some of it might have deleted, but I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll see at the end in the video tour because I did have to remove this lot when I uploaded it to the gallery because you know it's like when you upload something to the gallery for some reason it takes the stupidest screenshots and it was just like the side of one of our builds I can't remember whose it was now and it just, I was like well you can't see those builds so I had to move it to a different lot to upload it to the gallery so that you could actually see them and I'm not sure if it deleted some of that landscaping crawling up the side there or maybe it did and I replaced it but I can't remember for sure but it's not a big deal so um, I just added like a little few shrubs to the side there and then like an outdoor bin or two for recycling and stuff because it's kind of like a dead space that I didn't really need to use and I couldn't really put anything practical down there so 
kind of just made it a, like a realistic spot as it were. So I add in a barbecue out here and then a um, dining outdoor dining area and then some oversized lanterns which you guys have seen me do plenty of times in my builds before. And we just cut the video there and phased into this new bit. This is the basement and this is going to be the home theatre down here. So as like I said earlier, it is a very luxury, <laughs> luxury pad this place and it's got some very nice features like a indoor home theatre going on. And I do this like... <clears throat> excuse me, I do this like home theatre theme as in like it's like the movie theatre so it's not just like a home cinema or like with comfy seating and stuff, it's got like a red and gold like red carpets everywhere, it's like a like an actual theatre that you would go to and there is a bathroom down here as well and I even theme that to be like movie themed and stuff, it's got like a star mirror with light bulbs around it and movie props and I just thought this was kind of like I don't know, just a bit of fun really, and I kind of put some like movie trophies at the back, like Oscars and stuff, and movies and trophies you would have won for being in movies. And I put obviously a bunch of movie posters around, like up and coming movies from like if you were in the theatre or some of these family members' favourite movies that would be, they would have framed or whatever. So yeah, I just thought it was a fun idea. I was trying to do like a party room down here at first, which is what we phased into, as you can see, I already had the bar and everything, but I don't know, it was an odd shape and I couldn't get it to work and I'd already tried three different things down here before that idea and then when I thought of doing this, I don't know, it just worked better, I think, so. I uh, put in obviously a bunch of sofas so that your sims can sit and watch there and they can actually watch movies in the sims if you've got, uh, what's it called, movie hangout stuff, duh. But um, if not, they can just watch normal television. I never use the movies, to be honest. Let me let me know if you guys think they're any good. I haven't actually sat and watched one with my sim because it just seems so boring to me. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe they're really entertaining. But but yeah. So you can just watch normal TV if not. But um, as you can see, I've gone in and I've just put in a bunch of decorations and stuff around the place. A few little lights. And there's popcorn and ice cream makers on the side there as well. Because what would a movie be without popcorn? And here is the downstairs bathroom, so that you don't have to miss too much in the movie if your sim needs to tinkle. So I went in and themed this one as well, like I said. I put the toilet in this little sectioned off area here, and then I used pillars to just like finish off the edge of the walls nicely. And then I put a curtain across it as well, to kind of make it look more sectioned off and private. And I did that by just building a wall and then putting the curtain there and then just deleting the wall so that the curtain clipped into the right place. So yeah, it worked pretty nicely actually. And as you can see here, I've put the star mirror in and everything and I'm going through it and I'm trying to find some movie props that I want to put in here. So like a sculpture and a big movie poster. And then I put in a little rug as well. And I liked how it turned out. It was just a bit of fun, a bit of theming for this downstairs area. And it worked out pretty nice. And then over on the left hand side there where that sofa just was, I'm going to put in a bunch of movie trophies or awards or whatever again just to add some more theming and stuff and I also put some like decorative like little cake stands over there and stuff so that you guys sims have lots of stuff to eat while they watch their movies so um I think we're gonna go upstairs and start with the interior furnishing and um I apologize if my audio is off from the video because the last video that I posted um, a couple of you guys commented saying that it was and I'd also noticed it in editing but I recorded the same way that I always do like I am right now also and I don't know why it was out of sync with the video because it shouldn't be um, I don't really know how to fix it because I don't notice it while I'm recording right now it's only after I've done it so I'm hoping that it's fine this time and I'm really sorry if it's if I'm either too fast, I'm saying things that haven't happened yet, or I'm a bit further behind. I really apologise for that, um, I hope it's fine. It's kind of annoying because I don't know how to fix it because I don't know what's wrong with it, so, and I'm not really good with a lot of that kind of stuff. People think I'm good with it, but actually I don't really know what I'm doing, most of the time it's just luck, so, yeah, I apologise for that if the video is out of sync with my voiceover. <clears throat> Not a lot I can do, like I said, because I don't know how to fix it, but if it does happen again, then I'll probably just text Arthur from The Simified, because he's really good with the technical stuff, and he'll probably be able to help me, so, yeah. Anyway, we're doing the living room here, and I've gone in, and I've got, like, a fish tank in here, and a couple of sofas, and a fireplace and a TV, obviously, and then the rest of the stuff is just decorative, a little table at the back with, like, books and stuff, and a little drinks tray on it, and, um... 
yeah, it's just a nice room, nice family area, just to chill out. It's not too formal or anything. And then obviously if you want to re like really relax, then you can go to the home theatre downstairs. So, And I added some nice bookshelves and stuff in here as well. So yeah. And that was a little bit different from the lounge that I originally did. So as you can see, there's like the wallpapers and flooring are already everywhere. And that's because I'd already furnished the whole house and then I deleted everything to make the spoof build much quicker. So yes. Um, going through and doing the entrance hall and just adding like some little side tables next to the front door and a, a mirror and a shoe thing to put your shoes in and check yourself before you leave and just yeah all that kind of stuff and uh, roses were the flower of choice for the hallways because I always like to have like keep the kind of same flowers flowing without or throughout sorry and we are moving on to the kitchen and the kitchen I absolutely love 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 how this turned out um, <clears throat> using the cool kitchen cabinets and stuff and I used the extractor hood from there and the fridge and the ovens I think so yeah cool kitchen is definitely required for this kitchen otherwise it won't be that cool because everything will be deleted or hopefully replaced I'm not sure how that works but anyway um I like what I did with the sink here I kind of made like a like a separate kind of area because I used the island counters instead of the normal counters to make it stick out a little bit more just a bit more defined because I had the ovens over the other side I thought it needed something in front of the windows here and it it worked pretty well actually I was really happy with how it turned out and to, off to the side here is like a little sort of um, hallway to the back door and a downstairs bathroom also so I put in like a little mirror and just like a coat rack so that you could grab your coat before you went out or if you'd come in the back way you could hang your coat up there or whatever and um, here I am going through and placing in the fridge and I did this nice like row of cabinets of all the glass plates and stuff down the side of the fridge and I thought that was kind of a nice idea just to do something a little bit different. I've done that in a couple of my builds before, I don't know if I've uploaded them to YouTube the ones I've done them in but I definitely wanted to do that in this house because like I said I needed to like bring my A game because Aiden's house looked so good so I was trying to pull out all the stops so I'm going in and just doing this bathroom to the side here and it's very white and very clean in here and a lot of the bathrooms are like that in this house actually they're just sort of very polished very clean not too many decorative items going on because they had quite tall walls and but they were quite small area wise and I didn't want to clutter them up too much because I think they already felt quite cramped so um, the dining room is very traditional in the sense that it's got white marble flooring and dark brown panelling but everything is like glass so that it's very modern at the same time and that's the kind of look that I was going for with this build it was very contemporary vintage and it kind of had very like luxury curtains draped everywhere but then you'd have like glass as also <laughs> if you know what I mean I mean I kind of just said that but yeah so I sized up two of the lights here as well and um, as you can see I've got like the normal sized one and then I sized another one up and I used move objects to intersect it so I kind of made it look like a, a bit of a bigger kind of chandelier kind of feel to it because we don't really have a lot of chandeliers in the game um, that are either modern or traditional to be honest we don't really have that many chandeliers at all we have the spa day ones but they're too big <laughs> unless you're dropping them like from through a couple of levels like I am on the third level so Sometimes it's nice to size up as a neat little trick to do. And this is the kids' bedroom, or one of the kids' bedrooms. I made this like a twins' boys' room, but I kept it quite neutral. There is a lot of blue, but... I mean, blue can be a girl's colour. It really doesn't matter that much at all. And the walls are like green and cream, which are very neutral. And I just kept everything just colourful. So it definitely could just put any kids in here. It's got two beds, two singles, and like a little reading nook, and two desk areas to do homework, and a bunch of posters and stuff on the wall. And then the upstairs bathroom is like, this is kind of like the kids bathroom. It's not like a Jack and Jill style because um, that's not the way I built it, but um, it's definitely like themed for the kids probably. And I think, no, wait, that's a different build. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but then I was like, no, wait, no, that's a different video. I'm getting myself confused. And this is the little girl's bedroom. We went a bit more modern in here because I imagine her to be a little bit more grown up, kind of like tween age. So like not quite a teenager, but not a kid anymore either. Kind of like, you know, 11 or 12 so she wants the more grown up things and sometimes I like making characters for the rooms that I'm furnishing because it just I don't know it just brings something a bit more you know and it makes it easier to furnish and I do put a little ottoman in near the window there but I forgot to click recall or it turned off or something as I placed that which was literally like two seconds before this clip I don't really know what happened there but 
it is in the final build when you download it if you want to so yeah um, and this is the guest bedroom which is just very neutral it's got these kind of like peachy colored walls and then I threw in that peachy colored plant pot to match in and then just like some black industrial furniture some little like industrial end tables over there and those are really great because they're tiny and they fit in really nice if you do want to put the bed into like a sticky out a bit. <laughs> What's that called? Oh, God, I'm so bad with the terminology when I record. I don't know what it, what is my problem, but anyway. And off we are here onto the master floor, which is of course the master bedroom. And it kind of has a little study area outside of it, of it also for the whole family because there is no study in this build. So, but there was a lot of open hallway space. So I thought it would be good to throw in there. And as you can see, there's already some stuff done in the bathroom and the master closet has already been built. And like I said, I did that off camera because this build was taking so long to do. So, yeah. Um, going in and trying to figure out a colour scheme for this master bedroom. And I was just trying to do something different because as every single simmer knows that plays The Sims 4, we just have like no beds, no good colour swatches, swatches? No, swatches. And it's just so repetitive, unfortunately. And if you build a lot like I do, you just get so bored of all the blooming colours that we have, which are not a lot. So, anyway, I'm going in and I just go with black and white theme in the end to keep it really clean and just simple. And um, I'm sorry if you're sick of seeing black and white, because my last build was a completely black and white build. So, but yeah, this is kind of the colour scheme that I went for. And I like how this room turned out. There's actually not a lot of furniture going on in here, but it's got a nice sitting area the bed section with those longer end tables which were quite a nice feature and then I do like a do I add a TV over here? I think I do and I kind of make my own cabinet out of these three pedestals and I size a shelf up and I don't know I liked how it looked and it was just fun to do something different and like I said get some different furniture kind of thing but which I made myself so as you can see I just sized that up and then moved it up slightly with the alt key and kind of made like my own sort of dressing table area and I put like a TV there and I think I keep that stereo but I no I think I delete that stereo actually I use a different one and then I put some like um, clutter around and a few little plants as well and just like colognes and I think like maybe um, nail polish or something out of the decorative clutter area and it just looked nice to have some sort of different furniture going on and I wanted something that was like three wide as well which this was and a lot of the dresses are just too wide like two squares wide so that was annoying me so I made my own and it turned out pretty nice actually so I was really happy with how it worked and um I add in a seating area just off in this little sort of bay window bay window that's the word I was looking for earlier why can't I think of that in this bay window area here and add a rug in of course which like sort of directs you towards the master closet it's got quite a nice flow to it this master bedroom and that's what I like about it and um <clears throat> yeah we're just kind of finishing up the build here and we're going to go into the video really soon after we finish the master bathroom and i think the master bathroom funnily enough is probably my favorite room it looks so good i was so happy with how it turned out and um i'm trying to fit in some sort of decoration here so it doesn't look quite so empty in the master closet but i just add in a few little lights over the closet doors and then two little key pictures above the archways just because you know just some decorative stuff really and then I add in the um, main double sink area here thing. I'm trying to do words, but I'm starting to fail after 28 minutes of talking, so you'll have to excuse me. And um, this is kind of where, like, um, like his and her sinks, or his and his and hers and hers, whatever. Um, I won't get too PC about it right now, but we add in, like, mirrors and sink area. And I think I change all of this to black, actually in a bit and the toilet's here and I've done this like self-built-in shower with the spa day windows to make it all blue and um, here I'm getting spraying some flowers I didn't want on the outside because they were sticking through and it was bugging me and then I put in this amazing bath area with looking out of this big beautiful window looking out to the front um, not the front the back of the build which is where the garden is and everything so beautiful views to like bathe in and I think this is the colour scheme I stick with, this kind of grey, white, and it matches the bedroom pretty well, fly, flows through quite nicely. And I add in this spa day tub, and I put a rug underneath here, and some like candles and stuff, and make it very just like relaxing and zen, 
and I put in a hamper as well, which isn't so relaxing, but laundry has to be done. So yeah, I mean, that is about it. We're about to wrap up the build here. So if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me all your comments down below. Like I said, make sure to go and check out Aiden's video. The links are in the description. Make sure you download this build and play with it with your Sims and have a really good time with it. And I think that's everything. So um, yeah, I will speak to you all next time enjoy the rest of the video. Like I said, you've got Aiden's video tour at the end, which is just awesome. I'm going to learn how to do it, guys, so that I can do it in my builds. It just shows everything off so good. So, um, yeah, adding in a few final details. I'm just waiting for the video to nearly come to an end to wrap up this commentary. <laughs> so sorry for awkward endings, but I'm adding in just like clutter and stuff here, like nail polish and cologne and a few candles and stuff to make the bathroom nice and relaxing. And that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.